Have you ever wondered how prepared you are for a water crisis? In the world we live in today, the possibility of facing a water crisis is not a matter of if, but when. That's why it's crucial to understand the importance of water safety during emergencies. We're not just talking about natural disasters like floods or droughts. There's also the risk of grid failures, attacks on water systems, and other disaster scenarios that could potentially disrupt our access to clean, safe water. Water is the essence of life, and without it, survival would be impossible. But in a crisis, it's not just about having water, it's about having water that's safe to drink. Contaminated water can lead to a whole host of health problems, from minor illnesses to life-threatening conditions. And in a crisis situation, the last thing we need is another problem to deal with. That's why we're here today, to discuss advanced water safety preparation strategies. These strategies are designed to ensure that, come what may, you and your loved ones will always have access to safe, drinkable water. We're talking about more than just stocking up on bottled water. We're talking about being able to test your water for contaminants, purify water from different sources, and even access hidden water supplies in an emergency. We'll walk you through the process of setting up a baseline for your water's normal parameters, using home testing kits to monitor for biological, chemical, and radiological elements. We'll show you how to use battery-powered UV purifiers and portable water filters to ensure your water is safe to drink. We'll also talk about the benefits of rainwater collection as an alternative water source and how to set up your own system at home. We'll cover everything from data analysis and record keeping to emergency response strategies and long-term resilience planning. Our goal is to equip you with the knowledge and skills you need to ensure your water supply remains safe during any crisis. So, are you ready to dive in and ensure you're prepared for any water-related crisis? The first step in water safety is knowing your water. It's like understanding the baseline of your health. You can't measure changes or identify problems if you don't know what's normal. That's where home testing kits come into play. These handy kits allow you to test your water's normal parameters right from the comfort of your home. There are different types of kits available on the market, each designed to test for specific elements. Some kits test for biological elements, others for chemical, and some even for radiological elements. It's like having your own personal water quality lab. These kits are easy to use, and they provide a wealth of information about your water's safety levels. Biological test kits, for example, can help you detect harmful bacteria or other microorganisms that could pose a threat to your health. Chemical test kits, on the other hand, are designed to identify harmful substances like lead or pesticides. Radiological test kits can help you detect radioactive substances that, while less common, can be extremely dangerous. Now, once you have your testing kit, it's time to collect your water sample. This step is crucial in ensuring accurate results. To do this, you'll want to choose a water source that you use regularly. It could be your kitchen faucet, your shower, or even your garden hose. The key is consistency. You'll want to collect your sample the same way each time to ensure you're comparing apples to apples. When collecting your sample, make sure your container is clean and free from any residual chemicals or detergents. Fill it up to the line indicated on the kit, and then simply follow the instructions provided. It's as easy as that. After testing, it's essential to properly preserve your water samples. Storing them in a cool, dark place can help prevent any changes in the water's composition. This way, when you're ready to compare your results, you can be confident that your samples accurately represent your water's quality at the time of collection. Remember, knowledge is power, and the more you know about your water, the better prepared you'll be. So get out there, test your water, and take that first step towards advanced water safety prepping. You'll thank yourself later. Now that you know your water, let's keep tabs on it. In the world of water safety, monitoring and detection hold the keys to survival. It's not enough to know your water's baseline parameters. You need to be able to detect any changes, any contaminants that might slip in unnoticed. Imagine having a sentinel, a guardian, keeping watch over your water supply. That's what a battery-powered UV purifier can do. These small but mighty devices use ultraviolet light to kill bacteria, viruses, and other harmful microorganisms, ensuring your water remains safe to drink. And the best part? They don't rely on grid power. So, even in the darkest of times, when the power goes out, your sentinel stands guard. But what about other contaminants? Chemicals, metals, or particulates that a UV light can't touch? That's where portable water filters come into play. These aren't your run-of-the-mill filters. These are advanced models, equipped with contaminant indicators. They'll alert you to the presence of various contaminants, 
giving you the heads up you need to take action. Now let's talk about rainwater. It's a godsend during a crisis, a literal gift from the heavens. But it's not without its challenges. You need to set up a collection system, and more importantly, you need to pre-filter the water. Rainwater can carry debris, pollutants, even bird droppings. A pre-filter can help remove these, making your rainwater safer to use. Remember, vigilance is key. By continuously monitoring your water, you can detect any changes early on, giving you the time to react. Whether it's a UV purifier standing guard, a portable filter sniffing out contaminants, or a pre-filter cleaning your rainwater, each tool and technique plays a vital role. So, embrace these guardians of your water supply. Equip yourself with the tools and knowledge to detect any threat, any change. Because when it comes to water safety, knowledge isn't just power, it's survival. Monitoring your water quality regularly will help you stay ahead of any potential issues. Data might not sound exciting, but it's a prepper's best friend. In the realm of water safety, maintaining a water quality log is a crucial step towards ensuring a safe and reliable water supply. But what exactly is a water quality log, and why is it necessary? Let's dive in. A water quality log is essentially a record of your water's parameters over time. Every time you test your water, whether it's from your well, your rainwater collection system, or your stored water supply, jot down the results in your log. Detail the date, the source, and the levels of each element you test for. Now you might ask, why bother with all this record keeping? The answer is simple yet impactful. Keeping a detailed log allows you to spot trends in your water quality. Maybe you'll notice that the pH level in your rainwater collection system is gradually becoming more acidic. Or perhaps you'll see a slow but steady rise in the level of certain contaminants in your well water. These trends might be impossible to spot based on individual tests, but by comparing results over time, you can see the bigger picture. And that bigger picture might just give you the warning you need to prevent a water crisis before it happens. Another advantage of maintaining a water quality log is that it helps you understand how different factors can affect your water. For example, you might notice that your water quality changes with the seasons or after heavy rainfall. This insight can help you prepare for and respond to changes more effectively. Think of your water quality log as your water safety diary. It's a tool that empowers you to manage your water supply proactively rather than reactively. It gives you the control and the confidence to ensure your water is safe, come what may. So grab a notebook, a pen, and start your water quality log today. It's one of the simplest yet most powerful steps you can take towards advanced water safety prepping. Remember, knowledge is power, and in this case that power can mean the difference between safe water and a serious health risk. Keeping a detailed record will give you a head start when it comes to tackling water contamination. Ever heard of a Silcock key? It's a prepper's secret weapon. Let's break it down. A Silcock key, also known as a four-way key, is a handy tool that gives you access to water in commercial buildings. These buildings often have external water sources, but they're not your typical garden faucets. They require a specific key to operate, and that's where the Silcock key comes into play. You might be wondering why would I need access to water from a commercial building? Well, in times of crisis, when your regular water supply is compromised, these commercial water sources can be a literal lifesaver. They provide an alternative source of water, which with proper filtration and treatment can be safe for consumption and other uses. So, where can you get a Silcock key? They're readily available at hardware stores and online shopping platforms. When purchasing one, make sure it's a four-way key. This type will fit four common sizes of commercial faucets, increasing your chances of finding a compatible water source. Now, let's get to the juicy part, how to use it. Using a Silcock key is straightforward. You simply insert the key into the faucet, turn it and voila, you have water flowing. But remember, this water should be treated as a last resort and should be properly purified before consumption. It's important to note, however, that using a Silcock key should only be considered in emergency situations, and you must respect the property rights of the building owners. Always seek permission if possible, and use this resource responsibly. So, that's the lowdown on Silcock keys. A simple tool, but one that could make a world of difference in a water crisis. It's small, portable, and easy to use, making it a worthwhile addition to any prepper's toolkit. With a Silcock key in your toolkit, you're one step ahead in a water crisis. 
When a crisis hits, it's time to spring into action. The first step in responding to a water emergency is purification. If your water has been contaminated, boiling is the simplest and most accessible method of purification. Boiling kills off most biological contaminants, so get a good fire going and let your water come to a rolling boil for at least one minute. But what if your water's tainted with chemical or radiological elements? That's where chemical treatment comes into play. Household bleach, iodine, or water purification tablets can be used to kill bacteria and viruses. However, remember to use these chemicals sparingly as overuse can be harmful. Now let's say you don't have access to boiling or chemical treatment, there's still a way to purify your water. DIY filters. Using common household items like sand, charcoal, and a clean cloth, you can create a rudimentary filter that can remove solid contaminants and some pathogens. This is by no means a perfect solution, but in a crisis it's better than nothing, okay? So we've purified our water, but how do we stay informed about the crisis? That's where hand crank radios come in handy. These radios require no external power source and can provide critical updates during power outages. You can receive weather updates, emergency instructions, and even information about potential threats to your water source. So, keep a hand crank radio in your emergency kit. It's a small tool that can make a big difference. Remember, in any crisis, your first line of defense is your knowledge and preparedness. Know how to purify your water, understand the threats you're facing, and be ready to adapt to changing situations. Being prepared for an emergency is half the battle won. So equip yourself with the right tools and knowledge, and you'll be well on your way to ensuring your survival and the safety of your water supply. Prepping is not just about surviving the crisis, but thriving afterwards. Let's talk about long-term resilience because being prepared isn't a one-and-done deal. It's a continuous process. When it comes to water safety, redundancy is your best friend. Never put all your eggs in one basket, or in this case, all your water in one storage tank. It's advisable to have multiple water storage options. Maintenance of your water storage systems is absolutely crucial. This includes regular testing for contaminants, cleaning of storage containers, and rotating your stored water. Yes, even water has an expiration date. It's generally recommended to rotate stored water every six months to a year. Now, let's talk about the importance of community. No man is an island, and this is particularly true in a crisis situation. Networking with local groups can be a valuable source of shared resources and information. These connections can provide additional water sources, shared knowledge about local water safety, and mutual aid in times of crisis. You could consider joining or starting a local prepping group. These are folks who are also preparing for emergencies and can provide support and shared resources. Alternatively, consider getting involved in a community gardening or environmental group. These groups often have a wealth of knowledge about local water sources and conservation methods. In essence, long-term resilience in water safety prepping is about more than just having the right gear or knowledge. It's about maintaining your systems, rotating your resources, and building connections within your community. Your ability to bounce back from a crisis is not just about what you have, but what you do. And what you do before a crisis will determine how well you thrive during and after that crisis. Remember, resilience is key to overcoming any crisis. So, we've covered quite a bit today, haven't we? From setting up your baseline and understanding the normal parameters of your water, to using multi-parameter testing kits and manual sampling, We've looked into monitoring and detection methods like battery-powered UV purifiers, portable water filters, and even rainwater collection. We delved into data analysis and record-keeping, stressing the importance of maintaining a water quality log. We also explored the use of a silcock key during emergencies and discussed effective decontamination protocols. The value of redundant water storage and the importance of community links for shared resources and information were also discussed. The key takeaway is this. Being proactive about your water safety is a non-negotiable part of advanced prepping. So, don't just sit there. Start implementing these strategies to ensure your water supply remains safe during any crisis. For more in-depth guidance, check out my book on Amazon, The Ultimate Grid Down Survival Handbook. Stay safe, stay prepared, and remember, water is life.